everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Shawnee and we are glitzy stitches home DIY if you're new to my channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome I hope everyone's having a fantastic day okay guys today we're going to be participating in the trash to treasure challenge for July it's hosted by my friend Brenda of rustic and lace also my friends Amanda of six kids and a glue gun and Chantel of crafty hints by Chantel I'll have each of their channel links in my description box below as well as a link to the awesome playlist check it out guys it's going to be amazing Okay, our first DIY today, I have this box. Now, my husband and I are pickers um, when we can be, and we get a lot of packages, and we see a lot of trash items. We really do. So what we're going to do is I have this packing that came in a few glass items that we had found, and it is awesome. I love the basket design of the packing so I have taken and I have cut down to size the sides of a box I just took the flaps off the box I've cut them at the size of the box which is nine inches by six inches I believe yes so what we're going to do first, now you can use paper glue for this and or hot glue. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use hot glue and the smooth edge I'm going to place on the bottom of the cardboard. Just a regular cardboard box, guys. I am going to put a dab of my paper glue. This paper glue is fantastic. It's the memory glue. I absolutely love it. It is by Aileen's and it works fantastic and it adheres very fast I'm gonna go ahead just like so I'm also gonna place some hot glue just for that added extra security my hot glue gun hasn't been used in a minute so we're getting all the luscious glue strings all right, just like so and we're going to place it super super simple and like so. repeat that on the opposite side And again, you want that rough edge on the top. Nice and even, just like so. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to repeat this on our ends, just like so. Any loose cardboard that you have, you can either cut off or glue down. Your choice. I'm going to go ahead and just tack this down with some hot glue right here. There we go. Just like so. And we want to repeat the same on the opposite end as well. I absolutely love the way that looks. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab some rope. This is some rope I purchased at Menards here in Michigan. I'm just going to cut that off even. What we're going to do, I'm going to run some hot glue and I'm going to make this even and run it right down the corners and cut it off at the edge of the basket. I'm going to go ahead and run my hot glue 
work this right in even with the top and right down my corner like so. And your rope does not have to go all the way to the top and I'll show you why. You want to make it even with your box. If you need more glue, go ahead and use it just like so. Now I'm going to simply go ahead and I'm going to cut this off just like this. This would be a great little basket to make if you need one for real quick for a get together, a picnic this 4th of July, just like so. Love that look. It's fantastic. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to repeat this on each corner. And just like so. See that fits right in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some more hot glue right here. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Cut this off flush with the bottom. Right, here we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the rope around the top of our basket. Just like so. I'm going to make this nice and tight so it's a nice straight edge. And again, you can use your paper glue if you'd like to. Because this is cardboard. And go ahead, we're going to go right against the top, nice and tight. Don't worry about any glue spillage you may have because that's going to get covered up. I'm going to go ahead, just like so. You want to press down. There we go. Just like that. Okay. There we go. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go all the way around our box. Cut it off right to where it's going to fit together nice and tight. Go ahead and grab my hot glue. Just like that. Right on top. Put a little pressure. There we go. Perfect. And for our handles, cut off two 7-inch strips of our rope. Now what we're going to do with this is I'm going to eyeball this. And we're going to place this nice raw edges right on the outside of our basket for our handles. We want to do this nice and even. So I'm going to go ahead, apply some hot glue right here, right here. Place my handle right there. We're going to let this dry or set, I should say. I'm going to come up and we're going to go right down again to the side. Now, these are kind of deep. I made these a little bit more deep than I actually wanted to, but that's okay. We'll work with it. I'm going to go here, right like so, and we're going to place this side as well. If you need more hot glue on here, you can add that. You can also use a paper glue on this again, and or you can use a super glue. You can use a wood glue on this, just like that. I think that is so pretty, guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to finish the other end of our basket, and we're going to come back, and we're going to put the lining in, and we're going to put our display. I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. You could also run another piece of rope down there if you want to, but you know, I don't think I want to. These turned out absolutely amazing. Wow. <laughs> I love this. Love, love, love it. You can also take your lighter and burn off your extra thistle thing, you know, the extra rope around it, but I like that look. I just do. I like that rugged look. Now what we're going to do is I have, seems it's the 4th of July. I have this towel that I purchased at the Dollar Tree a while back. It's the red, white, and blue one. Now what I'm going to do 
is simply tuck this in because we want to be able to interchange this. We want to be able to change this up for different holidays, different picnics, what have you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this right in here like so. Put a red, white, and blue basket and I'm going to add a few little lemons. Now this is just going to be a display. Again, you could actually, this is, you can make this function. You could put a liner in this and you could put um, rolls in here or whatnot, dinner rolls. You could put uh, bread, um, anything dry, any dry product actually. But I think this turned out absolutely amazing. Okay, we'll be right back with the final look. And there it is, guys. Who would have thought a box, some packing material, and some rope? I think this turned out absolutely adorable. And on to DIY number two. For DIY number two, I have these that I picked up in a freebie bin at a local pick. And I think they are absolutely beautiful. Obviously vintage. And I'm going to leave them just as is. They have some spotting on them and such. It just adds to their character. Love it. So we're going to take a piece of the plank wood that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually take our hanger off here and we are going to dry brush some of our truffle chalk paint by Waverly right on our board. Very lightly just dry brush it from beginning to end the entire plank of the board just like so. Just with a very light stroke of the truffle paint by Waverly, just like so. It gives the board a bit of an aged look. And there we go. We're going to let this dry. Now that this is dry, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our little figures right on our board. Now we want to get these nice and I'm just eyeballing this. You can measure this if you want to. I'm just going to eyeball it today. And I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, you can take a wood glue. You can take a fabric glue, actually. Or you can take hot glue. Now today we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our wood glue that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and some hot glue as well. Take that out of there. Turn this around, put some wood glue on there, just like so. And the hot glue is gonna give it that right now hold, guys. This wood glue will give it a permanent hold. Go ahead, get our hot glue. You want these nice and straight on our board, just like so perfect there we go now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place the bottom one before we place the center one the reason being is that it gives it more of a balance it's easier to place your center block that way it's more of a good look at where you're at with it I try not to mix my hot glue and my wood glues. Keyword there is try. Okay, that's just like so. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, that looks great. All right, now for our last one. Right in the center.
simple, simple, guys. And so pretty. All right, what we're going to do next is I have some ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It's a, like my mom used to call it a dotted Swiss. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make a little bow. Simple, simple, simple. And I always make my bow bigger than I'm going to need. And then I scale it down, work with it to the size that I would like for my piece. Just like so. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to angle these. I'm not going to dovetail these today. Just going to angle these like so. We're going to place it right here on our piece, right at the top. And to me, this screams vintage. A little bit of hot glue right in the center. Adorable. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Okay, guys, we're simply going to grab our hanger. Place it back like so. Quick, easy, and so pretty. And there we go. Absolutely adorable. And on to the final look. Oh my goodness. I think this one turned out absolutely adorable as well. Quick and easy and so vintage. And on to our third and final DIY. For our third and final DIY, I had some scrap zebra print paper that I had used a bit of, and I have one large 12 by 10 sheet of, excuse me, 12 by 12 sheet of good cardstock paper. And what I've done is I have scored this at two and three quarter inches and nine and one quarter inches. You turn one turn and you score it at four and one half inches and seven and one half inches. You want to make sure all your scores are nice and crisp. So you want to take your bone folder to those. You want to grab a good paper glue. I love this, the memory glue. You guys know that if you've been with me any amount of time. And what we do here is we fold everything, make it nice and crisp with our bone folder. And we are going to push outward on the crease, bring it up and accordion fold it and you want to make your crease right inside. You want to do both the same side first. Just like so, you fold your crease out and you bring it up. And you want to make sure you take your bone folder and or your finger and make sure that is nice and crisp. Just like so. Now what we're going to do, as you can see, it already starts to form a little bag. And what you want to do here is you want to make sure that your sides are going inward. Just like a purse would. It's like a little purse would. We're going to take one of our cut sheets that we cut to six and a half by two. We're going to score this at one. And while I've got my score out, I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the other. 
Okay. And you want to fold these over like so. Just like this. We're going to take our bed and form it up just like so. Now, you want to place your paper glue on each side of your six and a half by two sheet. You want to bring this up like so. You can eyeball this, which I do all the time. You want to make sure that your paper is covering your fold on your bag. Make it nice and even. I'm going to take just like so. Can you see that? Just like this. You want to make sure that it's covering your bag. You're going to take your bone folder. It's nice and straight. And you're going to repeat that on the other side as well. Just like so. And all the time that I'm doing this, guys, I am continually making sure that we're going to have that bag form. I like the front of my bag to pop out a little bit. It just makes it look more like a genuine handbag. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my crop dial on the smallest setting. I'm going to go down to this line right here and I'm going to place my marker right there. And this makes it so simplified, guys. You just want to go right in the center of your fold, right like that. And you want to punch your little holes for your handles, just right in the center of your fold. Other side, too. Yeah, this works out so good. I haven't had a problem with this at all so far. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. You'll also need four brads like this. Four little brads. I'm going to grab these right here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our handles. And what we're going to do with our handles is we're going to grab our scoreboard again and we are going to right down the center. Now guys, sometimes this wants to go a little lopsided when you do it this way. So you want to make sure that before you put your glue on your paper for your handles, you want to make sure that it's not going to be lopsided for you. You can go ahead and you can just, I go right like this, just right like this. Follow that crease down to where I'm going to have a nice even handle and there won't be any overhang just like this. Okay. This is a great way to use your scrap paper that you're just going to toss out, guys. I can't tell you how many times I've made the trim for my purses and my bags with this paper. Okay? Now you want to go ahead and you want to glue these together. Just like so. Alright, just like that. Bring that over, grab your bone folder, crease, 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 and you can take and just go like this, all right? And guys, if you do go over a trim I did right here, you can just go ahead and take your scissors and go like this. Just trim that off. That's fine. There we go. Just like that, you want to go ahead and repeat that with your second piece for your second handle. And I have just taken the same width, the same size. And we're going to place our handle right down and punch just like so. Other side. There we go. And we're going to repeat this for our other handle as well. You want to grab your handles and you want to make sure that your holes are lined up and that your handle is behind your bag. You want to take a brad and you want to place it between both and you want to spread that out just like so and you want to repeat this for each hole just curve your handle around like so and there we go right here with our brad and there we go 
Okay, friends, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat this on the opposite side of our bag. How cute is that? Now we want to take our little one and three quarter pieces by two. You want to add some of your paper glue to that. You want to place it right over this bread to hide that bread just like that it makes it look more finished it makes it look high end guys these are so cute one of my top sellers at my craft shows all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and get the other four on it's time to put our latch on now guys i just take this is the one and three quarter by three inch paper i just take a regular corner rounder and do each on one end okay you want to make sure you're placing your glue at the opposite end on the patterned side okay just like so all right you don't need too much now you want to line this up with the edge of your print paper just like so and you want this to sit there until it is good and set just like that this is where you're going to take your little velcro dots and i make sure that my rough side of my dot is on the closure of my bag okay we're going to go ahead and close this up just like so nice and rounded we're going to bring this down just like this perfect just like that you're going to want to put a little pressure on that of course hang in there just like so i think this is absolutely adorable Stick it nice and out. There we go. Just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make our gift tag. My little gift tag maker here. I'm going to put this right up here. Just like so. Press down. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. You can make it any length you want. We're going to go about right there. Perfect just like so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take some jute today and I'm just going to make a circle and tie a double knot you don't need much just like so Let's see, you want to bring that through that hole as well the other side just like so I want to tuck this down like this now what I want to do, I don't like the way that's laying, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch that up and we're going to put it on the other side, like so, like this, okay? I don't like the way that was laying in there. Just like this. Okay. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little jewel right here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the stickers from the Dollar Tree for this, guys. I absolutely think this one would look absolutely fabulous on this. I want to feel where my dot is. I want to go ahead and I want to press just right there, right where my dot is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to release this very gently so it doesn't pull off the back side like this and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to press just like so and there we have it guys i think this turned out absolutely beautiful be right back with the final look and there it is guys i think this bag turned out absolutely amazing you can also go ahead over here and put a bow or ribbon but i thought this one had enough going on 
today. So we're going to leave it just as is. I want to thank Brenda, Amanda, and Chantel for hosting this awesome challenge. I've had a blast. And don't forget to go check out the playlist. Again, I'll have everyone's links to the host channels as well as a playlist in my description box below. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye. If you enjoyed today's video, here's something else you may like.